Hi guys, welcome to my channel My Adventure Planet. Today I am coming with a brand new video about Bin Baba Pass Truck and my days at Himachal during that time. Right now those who have seen my last video may know I am at Kafnu, a small village in Himachal. So this is a typical Himachal village which you people might have heard of from the friends who have travelled to Himachal or in travelogues or in social media. So what I mean by typical Himachal village is like full of apple trees and cannabis. Yeah, you heard it right. In Deshi language you can call it Ganja. So I was just walking through a random road in this village and suddenly it came into my mind like Himachal I have heard a lot like cannabis is so common like you can see in the villages, roadside, houses, everywhere. So I just looked at the side of the road and believe me guys the roadside is full of these cannabis plants. As an outsider I was shocked to see this. So for those who don't know, in rest of India, growing cannabis is a punishable law. But in Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh and all, are it's legal. Now the next thing you may think is why these cannabis plants are at the roadside, why people are not using it or trying to sell it. So let me tell you, the best quality cannabis you will get in higher altitudes, like in the slopes. So there are farms in the higher locations like in mountain slopes there. Yeah, literally there are cannabis farms available there in these states. And here people use that quality stuff only as it is very much available here. They won't go for this roadside cannabis and they know that it's low quality. Next day morning, we all are ready for our first day of truck. We had a small briefing about the day's plan by our truck leader Himanshu Singla. We just started the truck and you can see the Baba river in one side of the road. This river is a tributary of river Satlaj. And the way this river is flowing, it looks really scary and wild. And for the first three days, you're going to see this river on and off in our truck route. This route is really, really beautiful and adventurous and at the same time, tiring too. We took small breaks in between as the trek was really tiring and the altitude is much higher. We stopped in between to fill our water bottles as there was a fresh water source nearby. You can see it's a small stream of water coming from the mountain top. For some days we are going to get this kind of mineral rich glacier water to drink throughout the trek. Actually there is one thing we are very lucky for that. The trek route is well connected with water sources. In city you will have to pay a good amount of money to get the same quality water in bottle and God knows if it is the same quality also. After a short interval we met Baba River again. We took a small break there. So you may be thinking why are we taking these frequent stops. Taking rest is very important during a high altitude trek. It will reduce the chances of altitude sickness. As we just started the trek, our body will take some time to get acclimatized to the new conditions. So we should give enough rest to our body to make things smoother. By making yourself exhausted, you are making yourself prone to altitude sickness. So this is an advice to all those who love mountains. Never ever get overconfident about your fitness level when you are in front of these majestic mountains. Be humble and be in your own speed. Don't do anything stupid in that adrenaline rush. It may cost you your life. Yes, I am really serious about it, it may. So we have travelled more than 7 kilometers now and just crossed Baba river using that half broken log bridge. Now we have to walk through the dark forest of Muli. Unlike other tracks, the forests here are enchanting. They are right out of a storybook. You trek over roots of tall coniferous trees. The pine needles line the forest floor and there is a giddy scent of pines everywhere. Gradually there comes a steep climb straight up to the Muling Baba valley which is really gonna be tiring. 10 km into the trek you will reach a place called Janti Top where you can see a big flag. This is a good spot to catch your breath. You burst out of this enchanting forest into a surprise you are least expecting that is called the grassland of Muling. From Janti Top you can see the Muling hut and campsite. From there it is almost 1.5 km high to reach the campsite. If you are trekking independently, you can choose to stay at the abandoned hut where you have two rooms or you can pitch a tent on your own. Now we are just walking through the beautiful valley of Muling towards our first campsite. We are right now at a height of 10,637 feet 
So we had an altitude gain of almost 1000 meters in just 5 to 6 hours that keep us in a high risk of altitude sickness. Normally, the increase in altitude should be not more than 300 meters in a day. But this won't work in Himalayas due to the steep climbs and gigantic mountains in the area. And that makes these mountain ranges deadlier than any other mountain ranges in the entire world. Now, we are just reaching the campsite where we are going to spend our rest of the day. Good morning guys, this is the second day of our truck. Yesterday when we are about to reach the campsite, it started raining heavily, so I couldn't shoot anything more. I wanted to show you how to pitch a tent and all, which if weather is fine, I'll show you guys today. Okay, so I'll show you something interesting which I noticed here in the campsite. There on the top, can you guys see a huge ice covered area? That's called the hanging glacier. As per the local kids, it was triple the size compared to current size and now it got shrinked to this size due to the current climatic changes and global warming. Today early morning, I set a time lapse in this direction to capture the sunrise. I couldn't capture that properly but I got another beautiful sight of glacier breaking down from here. I feel I was really lucky to see this, it's a very rare sight, can you guys see that? As the sun is up, you can see a more clear picture of that hanging glacier now. Breaking down of glacier or melting down of glacier into ice produces a water source. It may be a river or a tributary. Here, this one produces a small tributary which ends up in Baba River. So, now everybody is done with their breakfast and other necessities. Our trekking team is loading up tent and other stuffs in mules. We are about to start today's trek. We had a small briefing about today from our trek leader Himanshu Singla. Any doubts? No, sir. Uh, excited for day? Yeah. 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 So, we'll do our, our so, we are at a height of 10,637 feet. Yesterday, we covered 11.3 kilometers to reach Moling campsite, and today, we have to cover 6 kilometers to reach our next campsite, Kara, which is at a height of 11,653 feet. The trekking route is getting tougher and tougher, but at the same time, it is becoming more beautiful too. Can you see how clear is this water flowing down? So, Comparatively, today we have less distance to cover, but it is a whole day climb. So with a 13 kg backpack, things are going to be more tougher today. So today, according to Himanshu's briefing, one major highlight is subterranean river system, which we're going to experience on the way to Kara. Subterranean river means underground river system. So here, Baba River flows almost for a kilometer as a subterranean river. You can hear only the sound of the river. You can't sense anything else than the sound. It won't be visible as it is flowing deep down the earth. Himalayan terrain always make you amazed by this kind of natural wonders. Today, we are just following the Baba River in Nandai Trail. So I thought let me introduce you my track team. There are also amazing individuals from different parts of the country you won't get bored of. Just trust to me, just enjoy the track road and hear to me. So in our track team, the youngest one is 14 years old and the oldest one is 75 years old. Yeah, according to age group, it is so vibrant. We have three peoples, including a beautiful couple from Mumbai. They are called Tripur, Pallavi and Dipali. And there is another group of five from Chennai. And there also there is a couple. They are Sridhar, Mahler, Bindu, Suresh and Anubala. And there is one pilot daddy and his handsome son, Akshay and Arnav. In which the son, Arnav, as I earlier mentioned, is the youngest of the group. Then we have well experienced mountaineer Sanjay Singh Panwa. He have done many mountaineering expeditions and he have done almost climbed around 25,000 feet uh, as expeditions and all. And then we have Majid Sridhar Lohia, like they are all individuals like me who have joined this trip. The eldest one, 75 years old Dathatarai uncle from Mumbai, is an inspiration for all of us. I don't know even I will be alive in that age. He goes on his own speed, he may reach at last, but he will finish the trek. Such a determined person he is. I was lucky to share the tent with this amazing personality and he have done many big treks like Gochala and Annapurna Base Camp. There is a huge list of treks he have done. He have uh, a huge experience to share about mountains. He is fascinated about Bear Grylls and he have a Hindi translated autobiography of him, which he always read when we are in the tent. 
Now finally last but not the least our truck leader Himanshu Singla a very passionate person who resigned his comfortable job in IT industry after passing out from IIT for pursuing his uh, passion for mountains he his anthem chants and slogans always push us in our hard times in this track this guy is a friend for life and we are not going to forget this personality for sure let us get back to our truck now we had a resting point and water source here where we filled our water bottles so there in the distance you can see a snow capped mountain range that area is called as a holy place by the villagers here they believe it as a home of kinners half men and half god so people from village go there only in very special occasions with utmost care and self hygiene they go there even without wearing footwear most of the mountains in baba valley is unnamed as it is untouched by humans this one also i don't have a name to share with you due to the same reason We had a gradual ascent for almost 3.5 kilometers, and from now onwards, there's a steep ascent for almost 1.5 kilometers. Truck route is getting difficult as we go forward, and due to altitude gain, oxygen level is also going down. And as you remember, in my previous vlog, I told you this entire Kinnor district was open to public from 1989 only. Before that, the entire route was fully controlled and used for military purposes. So that is why most of the mountains don't have any names, as no one have climbed it or named it still. One of our guide was sharing stories about individuals who have tried to explore those holy areas on their own in these mountain ranges without hearing to villagers. don't know how much of it is true but they were telling that most of them didn't return from there and those who have returned have become mentally unstable it's a fact that this place is surrounded by a lot of myths and stories but there is one incident just happened two days before our trek where one guy who went to such a place got lost in huge storm and cloud burst cloud burst is very normal in these mountain ranges right now military is searching for this guy and they haven't found any clue about him till now for those who don't know cloud burst a cloud burst is an extra extreme amount of rain in a short period of time sometimes combined by hail and thunderstorm which is capable of creating flood conditions cloud burst can suddenly dump large amount of water in certain area an example for this is the flood happened in kedarnath in the year 2013 which was due to a cloud burst after a long steep ascent we have reached an exquisite meadow with flower beds now we are waiting for our kitchen team and mules to come they have to reach before us at campsite so that they can make the dinner tent and kitchen tent ready and they also have to make food for us in most of the treks people use mules which are the cross breed of horse and donkey to carry the load which includes tent kitchen utensils food supply etc for the entire trek so from here we have to walk for another 1.2 kilometers to reach the campsite near a water stream you will find a lake within 200 meters from the campsite So now our mules and kitchen team is here. They have to reach before us at the campsite. And now it's time for us also to restart our trekking. We slowly started walking through this beautiful high altitude meadow. This high altitude meadow of Kara are the closest you will get to the grasslands of Kashmir. The campsite of Kara is one of the beautiful campsites I have ever visited in my trek life. This pile of rocks here are used for marking the trekking trail or the directions. These rocks are also called as cane stones. Today, we are lucky that there was not much rain. So now I will show you how to pitch a tent here. My tent mate, the Tatra uncle, was also with me to give a helping hand and later Tripur and Pallavi also came to help me. And finally we are all set. Tents are fixed, dinner tent and kitchen is ready. Time to have a hot coffee or tea. Unfortunately, one of our teammates Majid was feeling unwell. He was showing the symptoms of altitude sickness. Hope he will be fine after taking some rest. Majid, all okay? As mentioned before, this is a beautiful campsite. You can see the beauty of Trans Himalayan range at its best. Soon we had some visitors here. a big herd of sheep they were fearlessly roaming around our camps eagerly looking for some food 
in the nearby villages these sheep are one of the major source of income they are used for milk meat and wool basically these people who live in these high mountains are basically called pahadis and they will have big herd of sheep and couple of guard dogs with them while they are coming to these valleys for grazing their herd tomorrow is a tough day much higher altitude to face and much harder ascent so going to take some rest in my tent will come up with my next vlog about my coming days of trekking in pin valley and spiti thank you for watching and supporting my channel if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you and stay tuned